This is card number three, if that means anything to you. The Law of Attraction is my life's basis. So I'm going to read this card to you. Since the Law of Attraction is the basis of your experience, and understanding of it is essential to living life on purpose. In fact, an understanding of the Law of Attraction is essential to living the life of joy that you came forth to live. What the Law of Attraction is all about is thought. Thought is energy. And when you put your thoughts out there, that is what you attract into your being. Okay? So if you're, they're negative thoughts, that's what you attract. If they're positive thoughts, that's what you attract. So, um, you know, you try and keep them kind of general, you, not too specific, because if you want love, you want peace or whatever it is that you might want in your life, that's kind of how you need to think about your thoughts and what you want to attract into your life from, from any direction it could come. So um, that is what they're talking about here. The law of attraction is in your thoughts. So the six of swords is surrounding your entire reading. Moving forward, pushing that boat with a pole. It's pretty slow moving. Not the slowest. Moving away from dark skies, dark waters towards the light. And it's by picking up these swords of truth and clarity along the way. This is what's getting you to a place where you want to be in your life. You're doing it. I have the Ten of Pentacles up in your highest energy. Wow. So the Ten of Pentacles is about security, stability, groundedness, commitment, um, it can be about work and earning money or having money come your way, all right? Um, but these are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. So you're moving forward and you're moving towards a, a more firm foundation. You're moving towards more security and groundedness in your life. Right next to the Ten of Pentacles is the Nine of Swords. This is being up in your head. All cards are male or female. These are swords of truth and clarity. You're gathering them up, but it isn't easy. That's probably why you're moving kind of slow. Because um, these swords of truth and clarity are helping you to move forward. Uh, but they are also like uh, you're dealing with the truth and the clarity at the same time. Something that's got to be done. You've got to deal with it. You've got to, in order to move forward. In order to put those swords into this little backpack this guy has and put them on the boat, you've got to deal with the swords. I have the seven of wands next to the nine of swords. So everybody's got an opinion. Everybody's trying to be helpful. These are people who care about you. And all these wands coming in, you have your own wand. So you're faced with making decisions here. Now, are you going to listen to somebody's advice? Or are you going to do things your way or a mixture of both? So you're faced with this. It, it has to do with you moving forward in your life here, okay? And getting what you want from life, which is the Ten of Pentacles. I have the Three of Swords right under the Ten of Pentacles and next to the Six of Swords. You've had your heart hurt. Uh, you probably had love in your life. And there might have been a third party with this uh, card because there's three swords. Uh, swords of truth, remember? Swords of clarity. They can really put you up in your head. And um, so you have been dealing with uh, heart-breaking type issues, but you are moving away from it. You're getting more clear about what happened. You're getting more um, confident in your abilities to move away from this energy right here. Um, you may have thought that this, maybe this was a marriage. It could have been a marriage. Um, it could have been just a commitment uh, also, or someone that you felt that you were going to be committed to. Uh, but regardless, you are heading towards that Ten of Pentacles anyway. I have the Nine of Cups next to the Six of Swords and under the Seven of Wands. You're taking all your love with you, and you have a lot of it. There's nine cups swirling around there. So you know you have them. You're not handing them out. I think you're waiting until you uh, get to where you want to go. till it's time. 
uh, to hand them out. I have the Six of Cups here under the Three of Swords. Um, actually, it, it feels like whoever was in your life, because you did get a broken heart, was somebody you may have known since you were children or had known before as uh, in a younger, uh, at a younger age. They were a soulmate. We have lots and lots of soulmates out there. But this one, this one hurts you. I think you, it kind of blew up this relationship. Um, either that or there is a big falling out of some sort in this relationship. Because I have the tower card right next to the Six of Cups. So this, this tells me you're moving away from this tower mo moment. Okay. Uh, it's right next to the soulmate card here. Whatever it was hurt your heart. You're moving away from it. You're dealing with it. Hmm. You're not really handing out your love, but you still have, you still have love that you could offer. But the thing, and I'm looking at this here, is right next to the tower, I have the Four of Wands, and this is under the Nine of Cups. Now, either this is another soulmate coming in, or this is the same soulmate coming back, um, more grown up. Uh, this is, CD 1111 here, it's a very, very strong connection here. And there's lots of love, there's lots of joy, there's lots of celebration. It can be a card of marriage. So I need to keep reading, I need to know, is this a new person that you're heading towards here? Or is this the same person who you are getting over a broken heart of some sort with? Uh, I only got one card that points to a third party so far. So um, whatever happened here, it may be all about the commitment, you know, about them. Maybe they weren't coming forward, but let's see what these say. So we have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is right next to the Seven of Wands. So the end of your pain, your suffering, the end of the Three of Swords is coming around. And it comes through the Swords, all that truth and clarity. Understanding a situation can really help you heal. So it's happening. You're going to put an end to all this. You're moving away from all this. I have the Strength card. This is your card, Leo right next to the Ten of Swords. But this card tells me that you're going to find the strength and the courage to do what you know you need to do in order to move forward. And you're doing it. You're doing it. Whether you feel like you are or not, because sometimes with the Six of Swords, it's like you, you're moving forward and you may not be moving forward fast enough for your uh, satisfaction and, and you feel like you're just stagnant. But you actually are moving I have the High Priestess next to the Strength card. So in knowing what you have to do in order to move forward, finding that strength and that courage, you're using your intuition. And there's the moon right here, right behind you, enlightening you to, to listen to yourself, trust yourself. Let your heart, your head, your gut all come together. And I think you're paying attention to how you feel and in what you want. And you're just following your intuition. That's where your strength is going to come from. It's going to come from within you. I have the hangman right under the Ten of Swords and next to the Nine of Cups. This is a card of hanging out all by yourself. Okay. Um, being enlightened. All the blood rushes to this person's this figure's head. And you're being enlightened. It's very spiritual, the hangman. So you're being enlightened about truth, about clarity. You know that you have all this love that you can offer to someone. And at the same time, I have the moon right next to the hangman, which is under the strength card, which is the card for Pisces, by the way, which might be strong in someone's chart here around this reading. But the moon is here to shine your path forward in the dark. So it's also a card of enlightenment. It's a card of hidden things being revealed, secrets being revealed. I think this comes from your enlightenment, from the hangman. And I think this uh, path is going to be shown forward. Because uh, the more truth that you get, the more you listen to yourself, the more you're able to make the decisions you need to make for you in moving forward. I have the Empress next to the moon and under the High Priestess. 
So the Empress can be Libra or Taurus. That might be strong in someone's chart here. But this is your energy. You are a beautiful person inside. You're male or female. They're all male or female, like I said. But you're beautiful inside. I mean, you're so loving. You're so kind, thoughtful, considerate, respectful, giving. And I can go on and on. Now, whoever you do decide to move forward with, make sure they have a lot of those same qualities. If you're a parent, you're a really good parent with this card. So I, I just, I feel like you are remembering and you know who you are with the high priestess here and you know what's going to make you happy and this enlightenment that you're getting here has something to do with remembering who you are and knowing what you have to do and then finding the strength and the courage to do it in order to find your happiness okay because we have the three of swords over here you were very disappointed or hurt in somebody's actions here uh, with you but then, next to this Four of Wands, remember, I can't, couldn't decide. Is this the same person? No, I don't think it is. I, I think that you are moving away. I think you're following your gut, and you are moving away from this other person. And I think you have another soulmate, a, a more stronger soulmate, if that's a word, more stronger, a stronger <laughs> soulmate coming in here. Uh, with the four of wands and they're going to make a sincere love offer that means um, it could be something small like asking for your phone number you want to go for a walk something like that um, but they're very sincere they're coming in and they are a very strong soulmate so all this enlightenment is helping you to move forward which is actually it's like it's opening a door your intuition is telling you what to do and how to get there the ultimate thing that you want is a committed, solid, stable uh, relationship here. So, this person coming in, they have a lot to offer. You're going to have so much fun with this person. I have the Four of Swords next to the Knight of Cups and under the moon. I think a lot of your enlightenment comes from meditating, praying, or soul searching, spending that time alone again, like with the hangman. This is a very spiritual card, and it is about also about healing. So I think you're going to heal from this past relationship. You're putting an end to the pain, the sorrow that you were feeling from a past relationship, and being up in your head, too, about it, um, to um, understanding everything, understanding what happened. So there's a lot of healing involved here in this reading. I have the Six of Pentacles next to the Four of Swords and under the Empress. Yeah, you were being breadcrumbed in this past relationship by the Six of Cups person. So, <laughs> you know, nobody wants to stay in a relationship like that. Everybody wants an equal give and take relationship. And I think you realize that you deserve more. You're the Empress, male or female. You are the Empress. You deserve better. I have the Page of Wands. That was the extra card that came out. So yeah, I think you're making a declaration. And I think you're making it to yourself. Like you're not going to settle for anything less than what you deserve now. And you know. You know what you deserve. Because I have the High Priestess right above the Empress. Right next to your card. The Strength card. So, I think this is all about fresh starts, new beginnings. The Page of Wands. And it is like making a declaration. And it's like a promise to yourself uh, of what you are going to seek and look for before you move forward with somebody in your life. You're headed in that direction. Definitely. And um, it is taking some strength and courage, but there's a lot of enlightenment, enlightenment going on here. And there's a lot of healing going on here. And then before these... Um, the soulmate comes in, this very strong, uh, sincere soulmate comes in, male or female. So, wow, Leos. So I'm going to take out an angel card. Let's see what they have to say. This may or may not have to do with the reading. It's just a message from your guardian angels and spirit guides. Let's see what they have to say for Leos, please, for April. For April, for April, so Leo's, 
Where is your card this time? Hmm, I feel like it's right there. We have the Five of Thought. So I'm going to read this to you. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. Right here. Changes are necessary so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or who bring unwanted drama into your life. What good advice is that? That is awesome. So you're on track. Like I said, you are moving forward. 